what is going on collective welcome back to the channel emperor's light tarot with your gracious spiritual host and tarot specialist tony the emperor we have come a long way on this channel for those that have been here since day one right or have heard of me through the grapevine yeah i almost didn't put out a reading today i've been all over broward county we actually had a hurricane touchdown last night i believe and it's been raining like crazy over the past 48 hours so everyone in florida that's experiencing the turbulent weather issues at this time you know i love my east coast readers <laughs> especially my florida <laughs> readers yeah hopefully you guys are doing well um we'll be passing shortly right but let's get into your love messages. Don't forget to like the video uh, and subscribe to the channel for any new um, people coming in to watch the video. And for those returning, welcome back. Let's see what Spirit has to say in regards to your energies today. So we're using the wiser tarot to pull in your messages to see what your spirit team wants to say about love, romance, and the matter to the heart for you. Right. This could also be a message of self-love as well, so right, don't always bank or put all your eggs in one basket when it comes to relationships and relying on other people. The Knight of Cups is here. The Justice is here. I keep seeing Justice during this pre-shuffle. So a relationship, someone definitely wants to bring a union to you. They want to bring you justice, right? They want to bring you fairness, balance. They want to bring you the truth and honesty. They want to bring you marriage, right? Or some sort of a working friendship, partnership, relationship, whether business or pleasure. Could even be dealing with a love counselor or a love guru. But yeah, Knight of Cups, someone wants to come in and romance you, right? Sweet nothing, sweet talking, poetry, right? White knight type energy and justice, right? You can't front on justice. <laughs> Could be a Libra. Maybe you're a Libra, as I do have a lot of Libras on this channel. All right, so we get to your reading. Let's see what your person wants to relate to the cardomancy today. How do they... Um, what they think, what they feel, and uh, their next actions towards this uh, connection, this romantic endeavor, right? This energetic uh, connection that you guys have. Good news. I see the Wheel of Fortune. Let's prime your messages and get into your reading. This is this is my meditation for the day, right? People ask me, do you talk to God? What do you think this is? People ask me, do I meditate? This is my meditation, right? <laughs> This is my passion. This is my hobby. This is something that I like to do that's authentic to me. Right? And only I can do it in a way that I do it. Right? And it doesn't feel like work and I get reciprocated for it. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get intuitive. Sometimes I just talk too much. <laughs> How much is too much? You don't know. <laughs> All right, so we got numbers already. All right, that's enough shuffling. Let's get into your message. Grounding your reading today is the Queen of Swords, and we saw uh, justice. So you could be dealing with a Libra or an air sign, someone very discerning and independent. Uh, they don't necessarily have to be Libra or an air sign. They just may be very intelligent, right? And someone that has, um, you know, they're good with their words, a motivational speaker or thought provoker. This person could have even wrote in a book or something like that, right? An editor or an illustrator, an author. Or they're some sort of a director or a producer, right? They're into vlogging and blogging. Yeah. So what were the two jumpers? Oh, I thought I was about to say justice. We got the hair font and the hanged one. Taurus and Virgo. Interesting energies. Taurus, the hard worker, right? Being here font, the spiritual leader or teacher, an advisor, and then hangman, the enlightened individual, right? Typically, the hang one is, um, it represents a sort of a pause or enlightenment um, in a different uh, sort of aspect as far as like uh, changing up one's perspective or viewpoints because he's hanging upside down, which means he's not standing right side up, right? <laughs> this could even be self-imposed. Yeah, we could have a, um, oh, I'm getting Disney World vibes again. I like, I like getting Disney World vibes. This person is an entrepreneur, but they have a very in, uh, vivid imagination. Oh, man. I wanted to say something, but it came and went just that fast, right? That's how the messages come and go. Uh, you could be dealing with a very meditative person as well. Mm -hmm. They definitely have some sort of a spiritual gift. 
the nine of cups wish fulfillment and contentment so this person is happy where they are in life or they're happy with their emotions they view you as being a piece of that because they're at the nine right that selfishness right or <laughs> just wish fulfillment right what the 10 comes in which if the 10 comes in <laughs> we'll see what the 10 looks like that's when you get to share your abundance with your friends your family everyone around you right it could even be popularity the two of pentacles balance or trying to obtain such things right this could be juggling okay so for <laughs> where's the fun though <laughs> well pisces the hangman does like to be inebriated this could be a drinker you see all these cups behind him so this person likes to party <laughs> who's this a young person it could very well be an older individual as well, right? Maybe they just like wine or something like that. Let's see. What's the last card in the first row? The Emperor. So your person is a boss. Aries energy, right? The Emperor comes in as divine masculine, a leader, right? Or bringing structure into a situation, right? This is taking things serious. So they're serious about whatever they do, but they also have like a soft side or a playful side as well. This would be like a uh, when a job says that you guys come to work, uh, like Silly Socks Day or something like that, right? Yeah. But no, nah, this person is very powerful. A lot of red tear, blood, sweat, and tears. May even be sacral chakra energy as well. Very creative individual. Spiritually creative. That sounds interesting and attractive. So your person's thoughts, feelings, and their actions uh, towards this uh, romantic connection. Hmm. We got three major arcana in the first row. Let's go ahead and clarify the here font. The six of wands. Victory, success, 15 minutes of fame, a rounding applause or a standing ovation, right? This person is definitely attracted to you sexually as well. They may be, uh, I'm not sure if this person is like a dominatrix or they have a domineering personal a personality or th this could be like um, sexually. <laughs> yeah, you see the rod going into that reef. And they're about to be married too, yeah. <laughs> Comfort, sanctity, safeness, right? When it comes to uh, sexual activities, but under the um, the cover of marriage, right? What do you have to worry about at that point, right? You should have vetted this person, got tested, um, figured out whether you guys are mentally, romantically, and sexually uh, chemistry uh, chemistry aligned with each other. Let's see, the hangman with this Disney World vibe. So your person has a vivid imagination. Two of Wands, watching you from a distance. Ooh, this feel like, feels like both of you guys watching each other. <laughs> the feminine, right? She's waiting, right? Watching from a distance, possibly, you know, uh, abstinent or wanting to take action, right? This could be referring, refraining from sex. There's a two of... I mean, there's obviously a struggle here with the two of, of, of pentacles juggling, right? <laughs> but it's just like having, um, what is it? Discipline, right? <laughs> yeah, you two are watching each other in the masculine or um, the person that's more inclined to move here. Yeah, they're coming towards the situation. Yeah, I'm getting like rites of passage. <laughs> go find your wife or go find your husband or go find whatever it is that you're good at, right? That could be a message of self-love for someone. Let's clarify what's at the middle of this spread with the nine of cups. Yeah, I do have my headphones here, but I didn't feel like wearing them today. The five of pentacles. Yeah. <laughs> Physical displacement, right? This could even be a change up in one's finances. Again, they went from a job or career to being an entrepreneur, business owner, or vice versa. It's a change up in one's comfort. It could be movement, though, like going from place to place. We have the six of wands here, movement, two of wands, which is someone about to get ready to plan to take action or move, right? And then, obviously, they outside with it, right? <laughs> Movers and shakers here with the emperors. They're not afraid to move and take action. Let's go ahead and clarify this juggling two of pentacles. Oh, this person's nervous. They like you. They want to bring you a gift, right? This is actually my engagement ring, right? This slow moving offer, right? People be engaged for like two years before they get married, right? Five years. <laughs> Stop playing. Do you really want to be married or not? Yeah, I'm getting that uh, Cassie song, Long Way to Go. <laughs> the Sun card. Oh, this, this person's. Woo. 
this person has strong fire sign placement. So even if they are an air sign, they have strong fire sign placements as well. Like me, I'm a Libra sun, but I'm an Aries moon. Mm. Yeah, so this person has a strong presence. Um, they're very happy. They're very. I'm getting they're very lo loyal, but they're very jovial as well. Extremely creative. Yeah, they're very. They're very magnetic. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of reds here. So, yeah, this person's very passionate. I wonder what this person's driven by. Oh, like for me, I'm an Aries, right? And we know Aries are movers and shakers, right? I hate standing still or standing in lines, right? And someone recently asked me how I learned to meditate or how I learned to do, well, how in the heck do I do tarot readings out in the open where everyone making so much noise? Well, when I went through my dark night of the soul uh, at 33, right, I had to learn meditation, right? It, you, it, it's, you have to learn how to meditate in order to, to get through certain things in life, right? Because it, it helps you gain clarity, helps you reflect and think about things, right? It also helps with the breathing, the prana, right? So, yeah, I'm an Aries moon. Like, Aries are active, right? They actually channel through their bodies, right? <laughs> so, in my emotions, being an Aries moon, right? I guess I threw myself into the deep end, right? And when you learn how to swim, you throw yourself into the deep end. I went out to a uh, a busy public park for almost two years straight and meditated out in the park every day in the hot sun. Exactly. The emperor out in the hot sun meditating. <laughs> yeah. And now, even... And I don't get, like, get into arguments with people. I hate to see me on a bad day, right? But yeah, like certain things, because I've learned how to master my emotions in a meditative way, right? Things like um, I can be calm and peaceful. I can even be, um, sometimes I can't be patient as well. <laughs> I don't keep going on and on about it. But yeah, for an, a fire sign, especially like an Aries, to learn how to meditate is quite difficult, right? Um, but yeah, being out in the open in the park with all this noise around me, atmosphere, even nature, right? Tuning into nature, right? And then like um, everyone has a different way of meditating. <laughs> I used to try to block everything out. Now I try to listen to everything around me at the same time, right? Sometimes I even do both at the same time. How can you do both at the same time? I can't tell you. <laughs> I can't tell you. So I can do readings in the most loudest, most annoying, most, um, yeah. <laughs> I actually just had an email. Someone asked me if I, if I can do an over the phone reading or a personal reading, uh, like in person. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, how is this person coming towards you? So, so far, this person is extremely uh, powerful. Um, they definitely have a magnetic presence. They, they're, they're definitely some sort of a leader. And they definitely uh, are some sort of a creative genius. Yeah. They have a lot of self-love, a lot of confidence. This person may even have a romantic streak, even. But they're, they're definitely independent. Let's see. Four of Cups. Yeah, that's them. Not to say that they're turned off from love, but they're, they're picky. This is my picky card, along with being emotionally meditative, right? They're turning down all these cups here. The spirit is offering them this one perfect cup, right? The one cup <laughs> in the same row as the six of wands. So the universe is saying, you deserve this. The universe is putting you on a pedestal and saying, hey, here's a cup, right? It's going to, um, it may lead to marriage here with the hair font, like traditional relationship structures and that sort of thing, right? Not just people being in relationships for five and 10 years and winging it and all this other bullshit, right? This is actually people getting together with intent, right? And um, yeah, integrity in a relationship. Let's go ahead and clarify the two of wands and the hangman. This person has been astral traveling. Queen of Cups, yeah, clairvoyant. This person has been astral traveling. Strong water sign energy. The Queen of Cups is Cancer, which is my rising sign. Right. <laughs> so the Queen of Cups clarifying the two of wands, which clarifies the, the hangman. This person is extremely intuitive. They're very wise as well. Very enlightened individual. This is the type of person you don't want to tell a lie to because they already know, right? It's like standing in front of God, the hierophant, an anointed vessel, and trying to lie to them. That's why I always say, right? 
don't try to lie to a psychic, right? You can't date me and think I'm not going to know. <laughs> that spirit's not going to show me signs and synchronicities, right? That I might not get that nerve, that I'm not going to get a butterfly feeling or that nervous feeling in my stomach that say, <laughs> turn left like your GPS going to lead me right to where you fucked up at, right? Let's see here. Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. An offer. This could be a financial windfall, like a large sum of money or a big purchase, like a house or a car. This even may be a new job for some of you guys. This person definitely wants to come in, pause, and bring you this offer, this gift. This could be marriage coming up for you, indicated by the hair font and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Let's clarify this Knight of Pentacles and it's Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. Yeah, they're nervous. <laughs> they're trying to plan plan this. Yeah, they want to bring you. I'm not sure if they want to create a gift for you or buy, or buy you a gift. But they're sneaking and they're planning something for you. It's like a surprise. It doesn't really seem like a getaway or a vacation or something like that. It can be like a surprise proposal, possibly, right? Or again, maybe this person is buying you like... Um, giving you wish fulfillment, right? Buying you something that you've always wanted. Something that's going to put a smile on your face. Not like Joker in The Dark Knight. Let's see. Clarify the sun card. This is very powerful energy here. This person is a leader. And they're very fertile. This is a fertile masculine. If it's a man... I ain't, yeah. If it's, well, the Queen of Cups is here. So, man or woman, yeah. This, this person is... <laughs> Let me go ahead and get the last card first. Eight of Swords. Interesting. The first card of the reading was the Hierophant, numerology five, Taurus energy. The last card of the, or the last pull, yeah. Eight of Swords, a mental prison, an echo chamber. It, depending on the reading, it can give off like, um, it can give off co uh, like insecurity issues or like a writer's block or something like that, like your thoughts are blocked. This could even be uh, um, spell work in some cases, right? Like a prayer or a whisper. Like I yeah, let's take it back. I said at the beginning, my my beginning rant, this is meditation for me. Right? This is me getting my thoughts aligned, right? I have other hobbies that help me with that as well. But yeah. This would be like uh constant whisp um constant prayers. Um oh yeah. So basically, yeah, throughout my whole entire day I communicate with spirit, right? I could be doing anything. I could be walking, I could be washing the dishes. Right, I could be on the bus going somewhere or whatever the case may be. You just have that sort of connection with your spiritual guides and your spiritual team. Every one of us has our own personal relationship with God, the creator, right? The all-powerful spirit. Hmm. Yeah, they're nervous about something. This could be someone that's been obsessively thinking or like um, nervously thinking about proposing to you or they're wanting to buy you something and they don't know if you like it or, you know, maybe someone doesn't know if they're your type or not. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see what's hiding. What's this person's hidden thoughts, emotions, and their actions towards you? The Queen of Swords, of course. They want a relationship with you. Strength card. Ooh, they want to show you how beautiful they are. Mm -hmm. This person is an alchemist. Possibly a Leo. Again, they have, they're have a leader. They have a strong presence or something like that. I'm forgetting something. They definitely come from good stock, good DNA. Spiritual, um, their spirituality here with temperance, Sagittarius. This person may be a healer. This person either has a lot of spirit guides or is a spirit guide. Three of Cups. Yeah, collaborations, celebrations. This person is very popular and their presence is very healing. Possibly their work, right, is very healing. So whatever they do for work is healing. Whether they speak over people, they have a very calming voice. They speak life. Or if they're like a singer or an artist or something like that, like the visuals that they put up is very healing. It opens people's minds up. Yeah. The fourth pinnacles. Yeah, this person may be very, um, I don't want to say selfish. They're not selfish. They're just very to themselves, something like that. Like, everyone has different types of personalities. Some, like, the, Vir the Virgo uh, is not showing up here in the Hermit card, but that's the that's kind of like the energy that I'm getting. Yeah, so th this person may be, like, a good saver, right? Mm -hmm. Very disciplined is what I'm getting. Yeah, 
and then the three of uh, wands, you know, waiting on their ships to come in. And so this person may be good at investing or the stock market or something like that as well. Mm -hmm. This person has uh, yeah anointing or some sort of a divine knowledge or wisdom. Mm -hmm. The major arcana, huh? All very positive. Two hiding under the deck, fire sign energies, the Sagittarius uh, temperance card and uh, Leo's strength card. So a very powerful manifester and alchemist. Mm -hmm. Someone with strong presence. They're very healing. A lot of people like to be around them. A lot of people want to be in a relationship with your person. <laughs> It be like that. Attractive people like attractive people. Or attractive people are going to bring on pursuers and that sort of thing, right? So we have uh, the Emperor and the Hierophant, who damn near look the same, right? It's like, it's like the government and church. Who really rules America or rules the world, right? But traditionalism, uh, rel um, religious systems and that sort of thing. This is accountability and sovereignty, right? Someone taking the control of their, their own life and their own destiny, right? Even um, curse breaker, but that's not the word that I'm, um, it's like um, they open up, they bring new ideas and new possibilities, even new building structures. It's like they, um, I'm getting like, um, like, uh, damn it, walk this way when they kick through the door or they kick through the wall. Um, but run DMC and all them guys, right? The hang one and uh, Pisces and Leo again, strong presence with the sun card. So again, this person has a very enlightened perspective. They're possibly, I mean, uh, the hangman, Pisces, they tend to be very happy people as well, right? I mean, they like higher states of uh, inebriation, but they're usually in a good mind state, right? Mm-hmm. Even when we talk about uh, Jesus, the healer, right? He was all about mercy and that sort of thing, forgiveness. He had so many friends, right? That boy was turning <laughs> water into wine. <laughs> that boy was having suppers every other day, right? Until the last supper. <laughs> How often did Jesus eat? All the time. <laughs> High court cards, knight of pentacles, and a queen of cups. Ooh, an offer coming towards a queen of cups. Or this queen of cups is bringing this offer to you. Again, you may be dealing with a clairvoyant or something like that, an artist. Aren't we all artists? Aren't we all clairvoyants? Nah, but you'll be able to tell, right? Because you definitely have NPCs, people that, um, there's nothing wrong with being not religious or non-spiritual. It's just, do you have something to stand on when you talk about what other people do, right? <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. seed being planted or this could be a financial opportunity headed towards you two and two this person wants to work with you definitely want to work with you with the three of cups they're just watching um, they're trying to figure out your type your style or your flavor your taste what you like mm -hmm. yeah they're just waiting here I'm not sure what they're waiting on. <laughs> this could be how they're viewing you. But again, this person seems pretty particular in uh, what they like, right? They have a particular type, I guess, right? Even me, I don't really like to say I have a particular type. So we got two, three, four, got the five of pentacles. This person has been through, you know, a rough patch or whatever the case may be, financially or in their health. Six of Wands coming into a victory. The Seven of Pentacles, a strategy. Or action uh, plan being taken or being, um, yeah, it's like they're, they're thinking about this. They're, they may be writing or planning, what do they call it? Uh, kind of like manifestation. You write down your thoughts. You write down the things that you want, and you, um, yeah, those are just the steps, right? The crazy part is people talk, again, it, it sounds like spell work, right, or witchcraft, but those therapists that you pay $1,000 a session, they tell you to do the same thing. Sit on my sofa. Think about the negative things that's been bothering you in life. Write them down on this paper. Now, I'm going to go get a candle, and I want you... <laughs> 
with all the intention in the world, <laughs> put that that you wrote on that paper into this flame and burn it away. Burn all your stresses away. So we go, yeah, exactly, from that ritual, that ritual, <laughs> Eight of Swords. Like, the, 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 the therapist makes you look at yourself in the mirror, too, in everything, Eight of Swords. I'm thinking about the Light Seer's tarot deck when she's looking at herself in the mirror, right? <laughs> And it ain't really nothing wrapped around you, but people can make people, and even your own self, you can sometimes you can drive yourself crazy, or people can make you think something's wrong with you, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the N I G G A moment that I uh, uploaded to my community tab, the Boondocks episode four, I believe it was, right? Officer, he's pointing a gun at you. I don't see a gun. <laughs> Wait, I think I see it now. <laughs> Nine of Cups. <laughs> Wish fulfillment and contentedness. So overall, they're very happy. Mm -hmm. And they, uh, they're very attracted to you romantically, right? I don't think they're thinking about sex with you, but this person's they're, they're very passionate. They're very passionate themselves. They have a lot of fire sign energy. So I don't know, maybe you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Maybe even in their Venus, right? Venus is what attracts us, right? Love. What attracts love. What's the break tech message collector for our watchers today? What do they need to know about their person's thoughts, feelings, and then their next actions towards them? How do they feel about this romantic connection? What would they say to you if they could speak? Yeah, Eight of Swords. I'm getting that uh, Agent Smith when Neil's like, I get a phone call, and Agent Smith's like, you ain't got no mouth, boy. <laughs> that slavery shit, right? That system, that matrix. It don't matter what race or skin color you are, right? Racism may even go away one day, but we still gonna have prejudice. Three of, uh, of uh, Pentacles. Yeah. Synergizing with the Three of Cups. So again, this person definitely wants to work with you. They wanted to spend more time with you. As Pentacles, it's time for me as well. Mm -hmm. Um, this may be a co-worker of yours. Maybe you work with this person in, on a project before and they got an eye. They, you know, they took a liking to you. This person may ha may even work in the same industry as you. So, you know, even if you guys don't work in the same building or you guys don't really know each other, um, yet this person is probably has the same hobbies as you or they work in the same industry as you. Like if you're a writer, this person's probably like an illustrator or a writer, right? <clears throat> yeah. If you're an athlete, this person is probably an athlete as well. If you're into like social media, this person's probably into social media as well, right? What are you, a social worker? Yes, <laughs> I am a social worker. You mad? <laughs> These people be on social media all day. You be traveling all the time and you ain't got no damn money, so. <laughs> oh man, people are funny. Yeah, your person is super independent. That's what I'm getting, like, not independent from relationship. They're independent from the system, like, they, they follow their own guidance, their own truth, right? They're not so arrogant to think that they could they could be a uh, deliver their own justice. They're not like a um a vigilante or anything like that. They just <laughs> how do, how was it in old school back in the days, right? These people that have acres of land talk about don't come on my land, <laughs> don't come on my land, or I'm gonna shoot you, right? But that's what it is. Like your person, they like their independence, right? Don't bother them, and they won't bother you. <laughs> yeah. Any more messages here, Spirit, for the collective today? What else do they need to know about their person? What's at the bottom here? The King of Pentacles. Yeah. No one can tell. That's the wrong system. Don't want you to have money, right? They don't want you to have retail therapy so that you're happy, right? They can't control people that have money, right? Donald Trump's of the world or just, it doesn't even take that much money. Like me. <laughs> you think I'm a millionaire? <laughs> like, I do what I want because I have the aptitude and um, judge yourselves or you will be uh, judged or govern yourselves or you will be governed, right? The only reason we need uh, presidents and leaders and that sort of thing is because a lot of people can't leave themselves. And I don't blame them for it. You know, it is what it is. We need burger flippers. We need people to mop the floors. It all works in tangent, right? So don't put down anybody's job or position, right? Or even economic status. 
you guys be looking for uh, Jesus, yet this man was found in a, the most dirtiest, filthiest place in the world, in a barn. <laughs> but yet they would be trying to look for him in all these rich families and all this other type of stuff in these wealthy communities. Y'all don't need saving. All right? The hair finally even showed up to... Uh, before I shuffled it back in, yeah. Now let's read all the messages that came uh, uh, under the hair font or after the hair font. I believe that there's a message there. The hair font showed up as I was giving that speech. <laughs> yep, enlightenment, the hangman, Pisces energy. Jesus was a Pisces, as they would say, right? Pisces is a self-sacrificing healer, is it not, right? That's enlightenment. 15 minutes of fame or standing ovation, right? There's a victory coming towards you. The Seven of Wands, very guarded and protected, defensive. It reminds me of spiritual protection or an enlightened. You're so enlightened that you know how to protect yourself, right? right? You sage yourself. You you Palo Santo your area. You take healing baths. You meditate, right? You sit out in nature and um, blend with the natural energies of the world, right? The Page of Wands. Some of you guys deserve your own theme song <laughs> is what I'm getting, right? Page of Cups is a young intuitive or a budding intuitive. It is a crush as well. Definitely Pisces energy. Someone's dealing with a Pisces here or a very imaginative person. And the Knight of Pentacles. Now, how I feel about this particular card is that this, uh, the universe is bringing you something. Right? You've learned something that's going to bring you something, right? Whatever it may be, a talent, a skill, a gift. Something tangible. I don't know if you guys found the genie's lamp <laughs> or found the treasure map. But it's going to lead you to something that you've wanted. But in regards to love and romance.